So what is the third root of a thousand or the cubic root of a thousand? So the radical, you'll notice there's a little three there. What that ex is explaining is that is the number of the roots that they want. So if there is no number there, it's always assumed to be the number two. It's always the square root if there is no number there. But if there is a number there, that means we've got to find a number when multiplied by itself three times will equal a thousand. So let's see what we can do here. Trick is to break down thousand into a factor such that it's the same number and it's got to be multiplied by itself three times. Bam! So hoping that's jumping into your heads there. Because a thousand is ten times ten times ten. Another way to write that is ten cubed. And here comes the same thing. This exponent of three is going to cancel out this third cubic radical. And they cancel each other out. So it leaves you with an answer of 10. That's it. MGZ. Uh